Okay, so I got advised to check this out uh, because I do a lot of Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi videos and I've got a whole playlist if you're interested. Uh, so I had a message from MTS Tech and uh, he said, please add this to your playlist and check out the distro called Linux FX10 or Windows FX10 from linuxfx.org. So uh, I've downloaded it. Uh, basically, you just download the link uh, and write it to an SD card with Belena Etcher, nothing more than that. Uh, and then you can just start it up and it starts up looking just like Windows 10. Now I've changed the desktop background uh, because I prefer this to the very the very light one, all the icons are sort of disappeared. So it defaults to this one, uh, but I've changed it to this dark Windows one, uh, which I think looks really nice. Uh, I've also added temperature on here, uh, and I did that by right clicking and applets and then there was an option to update and it updated and it added this CPU temperature indicator because I think it's nice to be able to keep an eye on it. So I'm running this on an 8 gig Raspberry Pi 4 uh, and it does recognize the whole 8 gig but it is running at 32 bit. So uh, the operating system is actually Ubuntu uh, that it's running on and it's uh, Cinnamon and Ubuntu and obviously a lot of custom skins that are making it look very much like Windows 10 and I really like it. Uh, in fact this app looks more like Windows 7 with the icons and things but uh, if I go down to the bottom here uh, and click on it you can see uh, so as I hover over so accessories so things like the files has been changed to make it look more like Windows uh, and a lot of the icons have education, graphics, internet so it uses the Firefox web browser uh, which is what comes with Ubuntu as standard. You could put Chromium on there. Uh, then we've got all the LibreOffice suite and all the icons look like the Microsoft counterparts. Sound and video, so we've got VLC, we've got a media player at the top there. Uh, administration, printers, my printers showed up, uh, which is great. Uh, it doesn't in every operating system in Linux. I did a video on, um, it's just sometimes it's more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, so we've got system monitor here. Uh, obviously terminal and a file manager and I'll go back to the file manager because that does look very much like Windows and you can see here backgrounds advanced network configuration so done a really good job um, but it's not the only one that's around that you can get to look like Windows 10 uh, so Twister OS looks like Windows 10 but also looks like Mac OS and the reason I would at the moment choose Twister OS, uh, apart from the fact that it comes with games, but you might not be interested in games, you might want simplicity in a very small install, and this definitely works from that reason, uh, is that uh, there's the Chromium fix, which fixes the tearing on YouTube and also allows you to use things like Netflix uh, and Disney Plus and various other things. That's all built into Twister OS. But Let's get back to this one because not to diminish this work because it's a great looking skin on this uh, version of Ubuntu. So you can see all the icons look very much like the Windows icons. I won't have anything in these folders, but as it opens up, everything comes up really nicely. So you can see my uh, I've got my RetroPie stick in there at the moment, so that shows you the folders and things that are on there. And it all, if you're used to using Windows, it all does look very friendly and it looks pretty faithful. So if I launch Firefox, the performance is decent on that as well. You can see the temperature staying nice and low. I've just got uh, the cheap blue case from my video if you're interested in uh, how you cool your Pi. Uh, and if I go along the bottom here, it, uh, it shows notifications and one of these is an update. So this comes up on its own, so it looks after itself. So you can say not now or we can view that update and see what it is because I did update it yesterday. There you go, so Snap. So this is uh, an, uh, a program updater. So I'll leave that for now, just for just while I'm doing this video. And let's just quickly go in and do a few quick searches. So Hot UK Deals. And click on that. And let's just scroll up and down that. Reasonable. You can see that it's showing as 1800 megahertz, which shows as being overclocked uh, on a Pi 4 now because uh, it runs at 1500 as standard. So obviously you need some sort of cooling, although looking at this with my very cheap uh, Amazon fan case, uh, it's keeping it very cool uh, and it's not struggling at all. I usually overclock to 2147, so I usually go way higher than that. So let's open a couple more web pages, so BBC, let's just click on that. 
and just flick back between the two. So Hot UK Deals, BBC Home, Hot UK Deals, scrolling up and down. So it loses a bit of the page there, but not bad. Uh, I find Chromium slightly better on Raspberry Pi, um, but, uh, but Firefox works well as well. The only thing is that the video performance isn't, isn't as good. As I mentioned before, um, if you're really going to use this as your main operating system, I, because of the tearing issue, uh, which hasn't been sorted out in Ubuntu, I would say you're better off with Twister OS uh, or Raspbian OS. But as I say, I really like this. Uh, here's my printer at the bottom. You can see it actually recognized my printer. Uh, removable drives, the Wi-Fi symbol, volume, and then we've got time and date and the temperature that I added. I like these icons. Uh, I've, I've said before, I don't like the Raspbian icons for, for minimize and maximize. This is obvious. That puts it in the tab and the other one maximizes it. So I, I think that's excellent and the X and it lights up red just as it would on Windows 10. So if I uh, click on something with a bit of movement here, uh, let's pick, this looks like it's got a bit of movement in it. You see as I click on to change the resolution, it's already a bit stuttery. And it's not letting me. Let's just pause it. It's not even letting me pause it. Oh, so it's on 1080 already. So if I go full screen and then unpause that, and just wait for that little window to go. Yeah, so 1080 performance <laughs> isn't very good, but really, I really like the look of it. You know, it's uh, they've done a really good job of making all of this look very much like Windows. Uh, a lot of care and attention goes into these projects, and uh, I really respect them. And you also have this, which shows uh, multiple desktops, so you've got your different workspaces, which is slightly different to Windows, but I like it nonetheless. Software opens uh, an app store. I think it's the Snap Store. Uh, and so you can install apps from there. And this definitely looks nicer than the one that comes with Raspbian uh, because you get the icons and things, which is, which is good to see. You can see installed and also updates is on there as well. So yeah, I, I'm impressed. I, I really like it and I'm gonna keep an eye on this. Uh, and thanks to the heads up from MTS Tech who sent me a, a comment on one of my videos. It's great to see more and more things added to the Pi. Uh, it's uh, it never stops. There's always new operating systems, new things to try out, and uh, and there's some great work going on. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.